<laughs> All right, dear people. Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Julia and I make videos mostly about perfume, but also about beauty products, bags, all that girly stuff, you know? So if that's your jam, consider hitting the subscribe button down below. Today's video is going to be about Zara perfumes and Zara perfumes that I think smell good, honestly, because I feel like um, especially high street perfumes tend to stink a bit, <laughs> my personal opinion, and you have to know your way around a bit to know what actually smells good. I will also go into um, a couple of dupe information um, that I'm aware of, at least. Let's start with one of my absolute favorite Zara perfumes, which is apple juice. And you probably know this if you are a perfume lover girly, but this is supposed to be a dupe from or for the Chanel Chance, honestly. It doesn't say that on Fragrantica, but I have done my due diligence and that's what it's supposed to smell like. Honestly, it smells very fresh. I wouldn't say it smells exactly but like apple juice, but I don't think it's uh, it's the purpose of it. But I feel like it, it would really match my outfit today. It's a very much uh, spring-summer scent. It's very fruity, it's fresh, it's a bit citrusy, floral. It's, it's, it smells very green in the best way possible. Like, I mean that positively. And in the top notes we have apple, grapefruit and orange, so pretty citrusy. In the middle notes we have peony, rose, jasmine and violet, which gives it a nice floral touch. And in the base notes we have musk, sandalwood and cedar. Absolutely beautiful. I do not know how the Chanel Chance smells, so I cannot, you know, say anything about that, but I think this smells lovely and it's a lot cheaper. I think the Chanel one is over a hundred bucks and this is like 12 or something, so consider getting this one if you want to be in, like, if you're on a budget. Okay, <clears throat> next one up, I am going to stick with the whole green theme and this is the perfume that I'm wearing today as well and it is the beautiful Sacred Green Forest by Zara. Well, it's not really focusing, yeah. I like that it has like this wood thing. <laughs> um, and honestly, I think this smells so beautiful. It's not my usual perfume that I would choose for myself because I like very feminine, floral, sweet scents and this is a bit, I don't know, more bitter. So the main accords are, it's mossy, it smells a bit like vanilla, it's earthy, woody, smoky, I would say. But honestly, I think it's beautiful and I even sprayed it on my wrist today and w once you spray it on your wrist, it smells even more smoky, but for some reason, I really love this. It's so beautiful. Absolutely obsessed. <laughs> Notes are moss, Madagascar, vanilla, incense. It smells hugely like incense, honestly. Like, it smells a lot like incense. So if you don't like incense, this perfume is not for you, but I think it smells beautiful. Galbanum, um, Ylang Ylang and Jasmine. Beautiful. Cannot go wrong with this one. Also very green and fresh. And the next very fresh perfume would be Coastal Salty Forest. The bottle is very similar, but it's more like this turquoise color, uh, whereas the other one was quite green. And this smells... I don't know why, but I like it. It's, it's again, it's totally not my usual scent, but it's very... Like, Fragrantica says that it's supposed to smell woody. I don't think it smells very woody. I think it smells very fresh, honestly. And again, I would say this is something for summer, for like a pool day, pool party kind of thing, going to the beach, something like that. It's very fresh, you know? It almost reminds me of like a refresher, like fra fragrance that you put in your bathroom. <laughs> but I don't mean that in a negative way. 
I mean, I, I wouldn't reach for this all the time, but I think it's a nice niche scent for me. I, I wouldn't say it's niche, but you get what I mean. Okay. The main accords are, it's supposed to be woody, aromatic, marine, salty, and fresh spicy. Honestly, again, I don't, I don't see the woody notes here, but whatever. In the notes we have salt. Honestly, yeah, it does smell like salt. Yeah, it does. If you know how salt smells, some people will say salt doesn't smell like anything, and I disagree. Salt does have a smell, and this smells like it. Cypress, sea notes, pine tree, eucalyptus, calabrian bergamot, and patchouli. Beautiful. I like it. I love it. Okay, the super fresh fragrances would be done now. I will continue with... Oh my god, I love how Zara names the perfumes. Like, Sunrise on the Red Sand Dunes. Who comes up with these names? Can we appreciate that? And I think that the bottles for the price point look quite luxurious, honestly. I like that. So, oh my god, this smells so nice. Oh, I want to bathe in this. Oh, okay, so... It smells very citrusy, but it's also a bit warm, and again, it's very aromatic. I would say that this is, again, more on the fresh side, so it would fit into the category of the perfumes that I have just shown. But it's more beautiful, honestly. <laughs> I don't know, I like it. It's very nice. The notes are... In the top notes, we have bergamot and ginger. In the middle notes, we have mandarin orange, orange orange blossom and cassis and in the base notes we have musk and amber absolutely gorgeous you could again wear this in spring in summer honestly i just think it's a very everyday scent as well like you could definitely wear this to the office and it smells to me like sophistication <laughs> i don't know what it is about this perfume but it smells really grown up and sophisticated, but very... Honestly, to me, it smells very sexy. I'm obsessed. I want this. I, I need to... I mean, I already sprayed the other one, but... Um... Oh, perfection. It smells so nice. Oh my god, I wish you could smell this through the camera. Oh, oh my god, it's beautiful. Okay. The next one, with also a very nice name, would be Sand Desert at Sunset. Again, who comes up with these names? The bottle is the same as the other one. This smells more spicy to me than the other one. It's also beautiful, but it's more bitter, more spicy to me. Let's see what Fragrantica has to say. Yeah, so it's warm, spicy. It smells like amber, cinnamon, it's sweet, <clears throat> it smells a bit like vanilla, supposedly like chocolate, and honestly, chocolate is very far down on the main accords, but I think when you, when you think about chocolate and you smell this, you can definitely immediately tell that it smells like chocolate. Oh, but oh my, oh, it's beautiful, honestly, you would never think that this is like a high street fragrance if you smelled it on somebody. At least I wouldn't. Like, it's so luxurious. Those two, obsessed. Obsessed with them. Oh my god. I used to be like so, you know, um, snobby about my perfumes and I would only let like designer fragrances on my skin, basically. Which is hilarious because those are fantastic and I am changing my mind. So, in the top notes we have orange and incense. Again, I love the perfumes with incense. Uh, in the middle notes we have cinnamon, tonka bean and chocolate. And in the base notes we have iris and cedar. I, I wish I could also spray this on me, but I don't want to smell like every single perfume after this video that I have shown. So, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Very versatile. I think you cannot go wrong. Okay, next one. Evening Safari Drive. They have like the most exotic names. Love it. Ooh. 
this is more of a headache fragrance but hear me out i still think that it's nice you would just have to find the right occasion to wear this so i would not i would i repeat not wear this in spring or in summer it's too strong for that it's very potent and I think this could be a unisex scent, honestly. It doesn't smell very feminine to me, but it's still beautiful. This, as I just said, pretty woody and aromatic. It's also quite powdery, honestly. And in the notes, we have sandalwood, we have cypress, we have cedar, we have eucalyptus, we have tonka bean, and we have vanilla. This is also a quite new perfume, I think. I think it was launched in 2023, so this year. If, you watch, if, you're, all, if you're watching this in 2024, I like it. I like it a lot, but I think this is in a perfume for an older woman. Like, not older woman, don't get me wrong, but not under 25. Definitely not under 25. Oh my god, but it has so much character. Like, this perfume has so much character, just like the other two perfumes that I have just shown. But could be a headache thing. Could be a headache thing. And I wouldn't wear this in the daytime. It's more like a nighttime scent uh, for me personally. All right. If we are already talking about aromatic perfumes, let's continue with Leather Jardin, shall we? The bottle is also pretty beautiful, I think. Again, I would never, like, think that it's a high street perfume for this price point. Mmm. Oh. Like, this is definitely a perfume that you do not smell every day on the street or on everybody. This is, like, kind of a bold choice, in my opinion. I mean, the name gives away how it smells. Honestly, do you know those leather couches? It kind of smells like that, but in the best way possible. And it also smells a bit like a citrus cocktail, like a cocktail with some citrus in it, and you're sitting on a leather couch drinking a citrus cocktail. <laughs> I'm sorry. My, <laughs> My descriptions are everything not to float my own boat but it smells also very smoky you know it smells like a like a an old bar where you have like old leather chairs leather sofas where there's cocktails some people are like smoking cigars and i love it i'm here for it oh my god i love it in the top notes we have grapefruit in the middle notes we have rose and in the base notes we have leather at least this is what fragrantica the website says and again, I think this is quite sophisticated. And this I would also wear more like in winter and fall than in the summer. But it's beautiful. Again, not under 25. I don't recommend under that age. And I also have... If you have seen my video about the most magnetic perfume ever, or more irresistible perfume ever, I think the, the title was, it was the Dior Hypnotic Poison. And honestly, when I opened the Hypnotic Vanilla from Zara, I couldn't even tell the difference. It smells exactly the same. It smells exactly the same. Like, you don't even realize the slightest difference. So if you are on a budget, budget and you don't care about like having the designer bottle or the designer name then go for this honestly it's so much cheaper i think it's like 23 or 20 20 23 bucks or something absolutely beautiful it smells so sexy it's so magnetic it's such an evening scent like imagine wearing like a red dress or like a really sexy outfit that you feel really nice in and then you spray this all over yourself and you just walk into the bar and you're like all, you know, glammed up and you're feeling yourself and people are you're looking at you and you're like, you know, that bitch, that's what it smells like. It's very oriental, it's very sweet. Ugh, absolutely amazing. Okay, but... Let me stop rambling. As the title says as well, it smells like vanilla. Um, supposedly like caramel. 
I can't, yeah, it does, it does. And as I just said, it's quite uh, sweet. It was also launched in 2023. And as I just said, it is a dupe for the Hypnotic Poison Eau de Toilette by Dior. In the notes, we have vanilla, caramel, jasmine, moss, and apricot blossom. Do with that what you will. I think this should be quite long lasting, honestly, but I also wouldn't wear this in spring or in summer. It's too strong. It's more like a fall winter scent. This is like a typical scent that I would give for Christmas because it's perfect for the festive season. And it's also one of my all time favorite perfumes ever, at least the Christian Dior version. And if you want to buy a gift for somebody, but not splurge like that amount of money, opt for this one, it smells the same. And you can even tell that person, hey, you know what, this is a dupe for Christian Dior and it smells absolutely the same. Beautiful. Okay, the next one I smelled for the first time today and it is the Rose Gourmand. If, I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this correctly. But this could be a headache perfume, in my opinion. It could be a headache perfume because it is quite potent and it's very sweet. But I think if you don't overspray this and you use it for the right occasion, it's totally wearable. As it says, it smells like rose, it smells very much like vanilla in my opinion. And it's pretty, yeah, floral because of the rose probably. <laughs> but let me give you the actual notes for this one. So in the top notes we have rose, in the middle notes we have amber, and in the base notes we have vanilla. So pretty straightforward. This would not be liked by everybody. I like it, but I wouldn't wear this every day. You have to be in the mood for this, at least in my opinion. Okay. We have two perfumes left and I have to hurry up because the sun is setting in the winter. It's so hard to film. You have to be so fast, honestly. It's not even half past four and it's getting dark and I want to finish. Okay, so the next one would be the Zara Red Temptation Summer Edition. So there's like the Red Temptation for women. There's the Red Temptation Summer. There's the Red Temptation Winter. And this is the summer edition and I think that this smells really really nice. So the Red Temptation without summer or winter is actually a dupe for the Baccarat Rouge and I think it smells extremely similar and honestly the Baccarat Rouge is like what 250 bucks it's mental and the Zara one is so much more affordable and honestly I have worn dupes of Baccarat Rouge and people have asked me are you wearing Baccarat Rouge? And I was like, it's a dupe. <laughs> but yes, actually. So honestly, you don't have to splurge on, on the real thing. There's so many dupes popping up from so many different brands. But yeah, so the summer edition smells much more fresh. It's much more, like it's a very fruity perfume. And as I said, it's quite fresh. So as the as the um, name says, summer, I would wear this in spring or in summer. Of course, you can wear your perfumes all year round, whatever floats your boat. But for me, this is a typical summer scent that I would not feel very drawn to this time of year. I have shown a lot of other options today that I would prefer during this time. So in the top notes we have lychee, we have raspberry, we have in the middle notes rose petals and peony and in the base notes we have amber, praline and musk. Honestly any perfume with peony or rose, sign me up, okay? Amazing, so beautiful! Okay, we are finishing with a uh, for him perfume but but, 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 hear me out. I think this smells also a bit like Baccarat Rouge, honestly, but it is the Red For Him edition. So I don't know if this is supposed to be a Baccarat Rouge dupe for men, because Red Temptation, Red For Him, it's kind of similar. But in the main accords, we have Amber, we have Citrus. And in the top notes we have orange, in the middle notes we have amber, 
And in the base notes we have Avenue, which I don't know what that is, honestly, but it's like a chemical uh, something. Honestly, it's giving Baccarat Rouge. I would even wear this as a woman. It says for him, but I mean, you could definitely wear this as a woman. And let me just, it doesn't smell like anything here. Yeah, it's definitely giving Baccarat. But a bit more, I feel Baccarat Rouge is a bit more fresh than this. But honestly, perfect present for your man or for your dad or for any male person in your life that you want to smell amazing. It smells really nice. I like it. Okay. That's it for today. Maybe consider gifting some of these perfumes to your loved ones. They are, as I said, quite affordable compared to a lot of the original versions or perfumes that they these have been inspired by. I am now a Zara fragrance lover, to be honest. I think it's definitely worth it. Maybe just go into your Zara store spritz a bit around and see what uh, what you like most but I think all of the perfumes I have shown today smell amazing I have excluded the perfumes that I think stink <laughs> however that's just my personal perception and my own personal opinion the perfumes that I did not include because I did not like them but I will also make a complete Zara perfume collection and I will also include the perfumes that I do not like. I hope I will be able to upload it maybe next week or something. Definitely before Christmas. Okay, so yeah, I hope this video helped you. I hope it gave you some inspiration on Zara fragrances or maybe you want to try something new now. And yeah, maybe you save a bit of money by buying a dupe from Zara instead of the uh, 100 and something bucks real version. Uh, yeah, so thank you so much for sticking around until now. Please leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and consider subscribing for more. Yeah. <laughs> that being said, the sun is setting. I really need to stop rambling. Bye.